Yo! What's up, guys? It's me, your boy. B Variety. Back here on the YouTube channel. We're playing more Elder Scrolls Oblivion. If you guys are new to the channel and have been enjoying the videos, or if you guys have been here for a while, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and comment down below. Or chat in the premiere. Okay, guys? So let's get started on today's video because we're actually surprisingly coming to the end of this game. And we, I have like, this is like the 107th video or 106th video or something like that. I, I forgot. And like, man, we've been playing this game for so long. But I feel like it's going to be ending very soon, guys. Because, you know, we're doing the main quest. And, um... After the main quest is no quest, so, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and start today's video. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys are excited. This is gonna be, you know, a big moment for the channel once we complete the game, guys. So, you know, you, you definitely want to be here for it. Ain't that right, Baragon? Sorry, but I'm too busy to talk right now. Wow. Perhaps Roland or... Okay. This guy's, this guy's, uh, you know, he got a little too famous for me. Alright, I see ya. Over here acting brand new all of a sudden now that he joined the Blades. This guy thinks he's some what kind of mean, like, sir? you know, superstar or celebrity. Jeez. Wow, this looks so beautiful, so calming, so tranquil. Oh, let me throw this tea bag away. Alright guys, so let's look at our quest log. So here we have the next quest for the main storyline, baby. Miss Carcand. And we can just read it together, guys, so we can, you know, get a little caught up. So it says, Martin has deciphered the third item needed for the ritual. Oh, okay, so he needs it for a ritual. Okay. A rare alien artifact known as the Great Welkin Stone. He knows of only one place that still might contain one. The alien ruins of Miss Carcand. Miss Carcand? I must find the Great Welkin Stone of Miss Karkin and bring it to Martin at Cloud Ruler Temple. So let's go ahead and check this thing out. Oh, it looks like we already have a Discover Day. Eh? So we're just getting right down to business, guys. We're not wasting any time. And we're just getting down with this thing. Alright? So make sure, you know, you guys are all ready. And, um, yeah. We're just gonna... Oh, looks like we're in combat with someone. Who's there, damn it? I don't have time for these petty fights. I have a world to save. Where's Shadowmere? Oh, this place is huge, by the way. Holy crap. Look at this thing, guys. I swear we were in combat. But maybe not. Maybe not. I have entered the ruins of Miskog Hand. Now I must find its great Welkin Stone. Let's go! <coughs> Alright guys, so let's go. Sorry dude, I'm still kinda sick guys, so like, I'm still like kinda out of it. Hopefully this tea will help. Hopefully this tea will help cure me. Gasp! What do we have here? A blood stain. And then rusty iron mace. More blood? Jeez. Oh, we got some goblins here. Okay, let's check out the map. So we don't have this place explored, but we have the fast travel here. So that's cool. So it looks like we got ourselves some goblinos. And it looks like they're having a little, you know, a turf war potentially. We have the Bitterfish Goblin Skirmisher. Ooh, nice, we one-shot him. Perfect. Scales, I'll take that. So, um, yeah. No undeads here, just some goblins. So used to seeing, like, undeads. Put that there. Alright, so we have to just basically find the Great Welkin Stone here. Um, snag it up and bring it back to Martin so he can go ahead and complete the ritual. And we could, you know, um, whoop Mancar Cameron's ass, you know. So it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. You definitely want to, you know, stay tuned. You know, just keep on uh, vibing out with me if you don't mind, you know. Alright, let's go. Let's go for uh, homie. We got our gold brand equipped, baby. Boom. And he's out of here. He is flipping out of here. 
We're strong now, guys. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. Alright, so you know me, guys. We're just gonna explore everything here that we can. You know, just really absorb the place. Really immerse ourselves in the world. Oh, Jesus. In the world here. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You hurt someone here? Um, well. I guess it's, uh, I guess it's time to die now. Again. Oh, okay, he's alone. Alright, let's go. Let's go for him, though. Boom! Oh, nice. We were able to, you know, not pull aggro. Or not get noticed, I mean. Okay. So we could just go ahead and do a little sneak attack vibes going on. Oh, nice. We one-shot that dude. That was a good one. That was a good one. Nice. Dude, we're owning right now. What is this? Oh, okay. So we got goblins. As well as the undead, they're all just having a, they're just having a giant freaking Super Smash Bros. brawl like freaking fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just like a free for all. Everyone's going crazy on each other. So um, hopefully they could just deal with themselves, you know, and then we could just you know, <clears throat> excuse me, sneak on by. <clears throat> Take a sneak on by. Alright, where am I? Alright, so we got a door here, but that's probably like the exit. <clears throat> really get an exit. I guess we'll just see what's here. Alright, so we got zombies. And the, uh, you know, just the, you know. Uh oh, he sees me. And just like the one-off goblin, which is really weird. I'm I'm still kind of sick, guys. I know I literally just said that, but I really am, and it's hurting, man. It's really hurting. All right, so it looks like you know we're just in this alien ruin. Sorry, I got a freaking my nose itches, and you know we're just going to explore the place um, right off the bat nothing seems like you know um, nothing seems to differentiate this place from the other alien ruins aside from the fact that it holds a quest um, but yeah it doesn't like play any differently if, I, if, if that that's what I'm trying to get at you know I wish it maybe played a little bit differently. That would be cool. But um, we do have like new um, new textures, new models, new things. This is where we just were. Um, but you know, just here, just just uh, you know, you you um, go through the alien ruin the same way how you would with any other one. You know, nothing's too crazy. We do have two enemy types here that are like drastically different from each other. So we had the goblins, and then we had the uh, um, undead. So I guess that's cool, but other than that, it's looking uh, it's looking pretty regular. It's looking pretty regular. All right, I'm just gonna drop down here. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, so we got a little vibe going on. I'm glad I saw that. I'm glad I saw that. So um, actually, you know what? I may have lied. I may have potentially lied to you guys. But yeah, I mean, other than, I mean, but other than that, you know, aside from the skeleton shooting the goblin, I mean, oh, oh, shoot, it's like you know what really is new, you know. But that was a cool little interaction. I really enjoyed that for sure. Not gonna underplay that one, you know. But there we go. We got him out of here. Let's just grab these up, cause why not? Uh, we'll take the scales. So yeah, I don't know if I was supposed to drop down, but I wasn't seeing anywhere else to go, so we dropping down, boys. We dropping down, guys. Uh, oh, we got a little uh, fire here. So it looks like, you know, someone was here setting up a fire. But I wonder who. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, we don't need calipers anymore because we completed the Tove quest. So we good on that. Probably gonna be a whole bunch of nothing here. Freaking A. Freaking four gold. 
Why I oughta? Why I oughta? Damn! Yo, homie got one shot, bro. Damn! Again! Yo! Are, are we the second chosen one? I think we are, guys. I think we are. So I pressed the button. It's gotta do something here. It's gotta do flipping something here, guys. Where, am, where, where, where are we now? What? We're back at the... Oh, oh, and then it opens this gate. Ah, yes, yes, yes. It all makes sense now. <clears throat> it all makes sense. I know what I must do. Yeah, this gate should be open now. Boom! So we got the door here. So where is this? What is this? Miss Carcan Selvanua. All right. So we're going into Selvanua. And um, it looks like this isn't the zone where the Welkin Stone is because we don't have a green arrow. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. You know what? That whole rant earlier about me saying that this, you know, wasn't anything, you know, uh, different. I kind of lied to you there. I kind of lied to you there. That was a cool interaction. I really enjoyed that. I want I want these guys to kill the other goblin who's over here. I mean, we could probably just one-shot this guy, right? Ah, there we go. There we go. What's in here? So we got more uh more rooms. Let's let's clear out this area first. Let's clear clear out the skeleton heroes. And we'll, you know, continue deeper within the ruins. Hopefully you guys are down. Uh, I'm gonna help, uh, you know, summon handsome Squidward yeah. to help us out here. Maybe he'll be able to catch a vibe yeah. with these guys. Yeah. Here we go. So here we go. We're doing our thing here. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta, we gotta use this. Yeah. There we go. Smack him in the face. Yeah. Smack this guy in the face. And we'll just go ahead and shoot him with the fireball. Boom. We got one. Let's go for number two. Wait, am I on like easy mode or something? Like what's going on? These guys are like super easy. Wait, hold on. Not that high. Hold on. Hold the phone there. We don't want to make them too hard. Alright, we're not on easy mode. We're on average mode, but we're kind of owning. I'm pleasantly surprised. Usually it's me getting my ass kicked. You know what I'm saying? But now we're doing the ass kicking. I'm kind of I'm kind of happy. So that button that we just pressed back there didn't open this door. So it probably opens uh, something up ahead. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah. I don't want to press it again because we already pressed it. You know. So let's go up here. It's the only place we can go, right? Yeah. We got a little zombie guy. Handsome Squidward is probably gonna attract him. You can just go ahead and do that. Give him a nice little love tap. Oh, never mind. Handsome Squidward's gone. Excellent. Okay. God, I want to like cough so bad, but like I'm just holding it in. All right, so we got a little skeleton, homie. Let's go ahead and deal with him with our shadow rend or our shadow hunt. Let's go ahead and shoot him with a little arrow to the dome skis. Just say what's up to him, you know. Let's get our freaking Legolas vibes going on. So the thumbnail for today is probably going to be the well, the Great Welkin Stone. So we're just going to take a, we're just going to snag a nice little pick of the Great Welkin Stone and then set that as our thumbnail skis, you know. We're always just, you know, I'm always just ahead of the curve. Did he die? Oh, I think he's dead. Oh, and we got another one. Hey, bro. Just keep shooting him. Let's increase our, um, you know, our bowman skills. Because I think we're almost at a journey, or what, a master level, or whatever level 75 is. Journeyman, potentially. We're almost at journeyman, uh, marksman, which is going to be real nice. 
It's gonna definitely help out with you know dealing with these guys at super long range, dealing with enemies at super long range. I think that's a I think that's a dead one right there. Okay, there's probably some more enemies on the other side. Oh, it looks like we're being spotted by somebody. All right, let's pick this up. We got a lot of blood here, man. What's going on? What is going on? 655 gold. I like that. So someone saw us. Another enemy saw us. Don't know where. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Dang, yo, these guys got down with the um the goblins. Look at all these dead goblins here. So it looks like the undeads, you know. They freaking... They showed him who's boss, or they won the war, you know? Wait, who's hitting me? Oh, it's this guy. Oh, okay, here we go. We got the enemies here. Uh, is this a skeleton hero, or is this a summon? Oh, it is a skeleton hero. Okay, so let's just target him. So here we go. We're just fighting the, you know... We're fighting the alien undead guys here. We're doing some alien hunting. Alright, we're doing okay here. I want to see what my level is at Marksman in one second. Because we're so close, I feel like, <clears throat> to the next level. Till we get a new skill. A Marksman skill. Because the last skill upgrade we got was the zoom, this zoom in thing. Which is actually pretty nice. Oh, there's another one. Hey, buddy. A lot of enemies here. A lot of skeletons. So yeah, the skeletons won. Wait, am I like OP or something now? What changed? What changed? Oh my god. The T is so good. Holy crap. Dude, I'm like super sick, guys. Or I'm not like super sick, but like, man, I, I was. I was. Okay. I still probably have it in me, though, honestly. I still probably have it in me. Oh, dude, I don't know if I said this, but yeah, I got freaking COVID, guys. If anyone, if anyone's watching this or if anyone cares, dude, I got freaking COVID. I was freaking dying, like, two weeks ago, dude. I'm still dying now. It's like, freaking A, man. That ish freaking sucks, dude, literally. And I'm still going through it. It straight stinks, bro. That ish freaking stinks, for real. My god damn, bro. I was so upset when I had COVID. I was like, dude, I had so many things I needed to do. Like, this whole week, I had to freaking, you know, work and stuff. And it's like, I wasn't able to work, like, two weeks ago. You know, like, a week and two weeks and a half ago. Or whatever. And it was just, like, it was so stressful. So stressful. Oh, I think I know why we're really strong. Because the arrows that we're using. I think it's, like, damage health or something like that. On hit. Oh, let me get his. Let me get his soul. Oh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Wait. No, actually, we're using regular arrows. Yeah, we're using a regular. Oh, but it, uh, I guess it does more damage. I don't know. I really don't know. Alright, um, let's see our marksman. Marksman is at 72, um, almost at 73, so we're, we're getting there. We just need to get, uh, three more levels, guys, for our Marksman ability. And we should be able to get the next upgrade, so that's gonna be pretty sweet. And I'm, I'm really excited for that. And then obviously when we become a Master, but that's gonna be hard. I don't know if we're gonna be able to hit Master by the end of this series, guys. So, unfortunately, we won't be able to 100% the whole game. But, you know, we, 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 we had a pretty good run here, guys. Not gonna lie. I think our run was, run was pretty solid. I thought it was pretty solid. I don't even know where I'm going, by the way. I'm just, like, pressing W and hoping that I'm getting to the right place. So, we made it to the bottom area here, where we were fighting the skeletons. The skelly bros. What's here? I don't even know. Yeah, like, I, I don't know where I'm going. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we gotta go here. Do, 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 do. 
do? <laughs> Yo, who's that guy? Oh, dude, I freaking love that guy. Somebody, if anyone is watching this and knows what I'm talking about, that freaking one Indian guy on TikTok who does the parodies, or like, I don't even know if he's parody, he's definitely parody, parodying it. But he does like the freaking song, he does the covers of songs, and he sounds like Spongebob. Uh, he did like the candy shop one time where he was like, nah, 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 nah. like uh, I don't want to do it, because like if I do it too on point, you guys might roast me. Because I feel like I could do his voice on point, I'm not going to lie. I really feel like I could do his voice on point. But um, if you guys, if you don't know talk about, maybe I'll put the meme up. Maybe I'll just put it up myself. I'll just do the work myself, and then I'll I'll freaking just show you the meme. We'll just do that. But it's so funny, dude. I don't know why that just like came up in my mind. Actually, I do know why, cause I was um, I watched one of his videos yesterday. But that guy, that dude is so funny. That dude is so funny. He's got to be trolling, right? Like, there's no way he's being serious. Like, he has to be trolling. I refuse to believe that homie is literally serious, you know? Uh, but okay. I don't know what to talk about anymore because where's the flipping button? Okay. Where's the flipping button? We got to open up the freaking gate over there. Where's the flipping button? Alright. <clears throat> Here. We got to go to Morimant, Morimant. Money month. But I don't know where the button is. Oh. Ha. Huh. Silly me. It's right there. I mean, it's right there. It's right it's right there, guys. It's right there, guys. Don't worry. I don't know. I don't freaking know. Alright, so we're going here. We're just gonna show you, we're just straight freaking, uh, we're on our freaking archer vibes, okay? Hmm. Dude, you know what would be the craziest hero for, um, a Valorant hero? Someone with a bow and arrow, dude. That would be just so... That might ruin the game. That might ruin the game. If Valorant put a hero with a bow and arrow, it could potentially ruin the game. Because he'll be it would it would just be so game breaking. A freaking bow and arrow user in Valorant would be wild. But then like oh wait no, there already is one Sova, but uh maybe I'm thinking of something else. I don't know. Or like maybe if they had like a bow as like you could buy it in the shop, you know, when you play Valorant, that would be interesting. That would be cool. I feel like they could actually do that. And actually, now that I think about it, it wouldn't be game breaking. I was thinking of like Overwatch for some reason, but then I was like, wait, they have Hanzo, you know. Um, but yeah, never mind. It wouldn't be game breaking. It would just be maybe uh, hard to balance. But that would be kind of cool. Imagine a bow you could buy in the shop at, in Valorant and it's like a weapon, you know? And people start using it. I feel like it could make sense for the- HOLY SHIT! Bro! I feel like it could make sense for the lore, because I mean, Sova uses a bow. So why not just have a bow as an actual weapon, you know? And not just a, like, an ability, you know? I feel like they're gonna get there at one point. Maybe. It all depends on... It all depends on what the, the, the Riot team wants to do. I should have put the meme in here so I won't sound weird now. So you guys know what I'm talking about. But that guy is so funny, man. You guys have to check out his videos. He does like the singing, the horrible singing covers. He sounds like freaking Spongebob. You know what I'm saying? He literally sounds like Spongebob, but do like singing. No AI, just literal Spongebob yeah. head ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course we get a freaking disease from this freaking dirty ass freaking... Dude freaking got freaking poop clouds freaking surrounding him as he's walking. Freaking take a dang shower, my dude. All right. 
freaking getting me sick out here. Gotta use this freaking potions for your freaking gross ass. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. He's a zombie. Okay, I can't. I can't go off on him too hard. Okay, he doesn't. He can't help it. He's a freaking zombie. All right, he can't help it. Oh, and look what we have here, my friends. We have the Great Welkin Stone. Alas, behold, fellow adventurers, as we witness one of the most powerful artifacts in all of Cyrodiil. The Great Welkin Stone! Introducing the Krabby Patty! No, no, no. Alright, so, you know, this is looking very strange. How are we able to just walk up to this place, you know, willy-nilly, you know? And we're just able to grab the stone. There's got to be some freaking Indianapolis Jones action happening about, that's going to happen after this ish. So let me go ahead and hit the save skis. And let's go ahead and uh, steal up this uh, Welkin Stone. I have found the great Welkin Stone. Now to bring it to Martin at Cloud Ruler Temple. Okay. I'm staying crouched. Oh, and look who we have here. I knew it. I smelt Something of the likes of you, miles away. I knew once I grabbed the stone, the trap would activate. And the king of Miskarkand would come and attack. Well, he doesn't even notice us. So he's like, who, he came in, he was like, who's that? Oh, shoot. Dang, he brought the dead homies too. Oh, dang, yo, dude, dude pulled up in here, bro. Yo. Oh, and they're gonna have a little, like, little party in here. Let's see what, let's just see what happens. Let's just, like, see what happens with these guys. I wanna see what they do. Cause they didn't notice me. So it looks like they just come back in here and just catch a vibe. And just wait for, you know, someone to snag up the Great Welkin Stone. Well, technically, they, they can't do it anymore cause we, we took it. But, um, here we go. We're just getting busy with these guys. Um, let me do this one. Because we're technically finding a boss, kind of. So we got the King of Miss Karka, and he's got his zombie guardians with him. So we're just going ahead and just, you know, we're just getting our groove thing on with these guys. Just shooting them in the face with some fireball skis. And, you know, well, we got to get out of this place alive, you know. Oh, dang, these guys are a little tanky ones, eh? We're just gonna deal with his guardians first, and then we'll deal with the King of Miskarkan. So yeah, it looks like the King of Miskarkan literally pulled up, um, you know, from the freaking dead, and you know, he just had to let us—he had to let us know what's good. Um, but little did he know, you know, we're about to send him back to the freaking grave on that ish. Yeah. There we go. Big stun there. Oh wait, did we just kill him? I think we did. Greater Staff of Burden. Miss Karkin Key. Huh. I wonder what the key is for. So, where's that zombie? Someone's targeting us. So, there we have it, guys. That was the, um, the boss. Miss Karkin. I mean, the uh, King of Miss Karkin. Pretty strong guy, not gonna lie. Pretty strong guy. But yeah, I kinda, I kinda had a feeling that someone would uh, pull up, you know. I kind of had a feeling. Alright, so... Who are we? We're in combat through someone, from someone through this door. Wait, the, the Miskarkan key doesn't open this door? Man, what kind of freaking... We got freaking... What kind of scam is that, dude? We got freaking scammed. What the... Oh. What the heck? Where am I, dude? Who the frick is trying to fight us? Alright, um, we just went in a giant circle. Oh. What? Bro, what is the point of that Miss Carcan key? I'm gonna find out. We're gonna find out today, guys. We're gonna find out today. If I have to hit that Wikipedia page 
I'm gonna F and do it. Wait, why did the door lock again? That's where homie came from. Oh, what? Wait, what? Ah, uh, okay. It all makes sense now. There we go. Door open with the Miskarkin key. Where are we going, though? I wonder where this leads. Alright, I'm hearing some enemies. There we go. We got him. This little thirsty guy. I sent his ass back to freaking. Oh my god! We gotta send his ass back into the freaking uh, to the freaking grave. Freaking cradle to the grave, his ass. With that freaking Jet Li, his ass. <clears throat> Was that Jet Li and Wesley Snipes? Cradle to the grave. Let me know. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, I think that was Jet Li and Wesley Snipes, right? Or am I freaking tripping? Am I freaking tripping? I swear Jet Li and Wesley Snipes have been in a movie together. I swear, I swear. It's I'm, I could be wrong, though. Literally, I said I swear, and then I could be wrong, so I, I don't know. So I don't swear, actually, but... I... I, I thought, I think. I could look it up. I could literally look it up right yeah. now. But you know what? There's no fun in doing that. This, this is interactive, guys. I want you guys to answer my question. If you know it, if you know it. Or if you want to look it up yourself. But I believe Cradle to the Grave was a action freaking martial arts movie with freaking Jet Li and Wesley Snipes. I, I think. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But that was like a movie that I watched growing up as a kid. And I was like, yo, this is so sick, you know? It's like, dude, this guy's getting his ass whooped right now. It was, it was fire. It was fire. It was fire. So we got more stinky guys here. This guy's a stinky one. He's actually like radiating with stink. He's so stinky, it's like changing colors. The freaking the stink cloud is changing colors. Jeez. Alright, well, better him being dead now, I guess. <clears throat> Alright, guys, so we completed the Miskarkin quest line. We gathered up the Great Welkin Stone. We can go ahead and give it to Martin so he can complete his ritual. And, you know, we're just going to get to save in the world, guys. Alright. We're just going to get to save in the world. And I hope you guys are excited for, you know, today's video. Because I think, literally, guys, I think, like, this might be, like, there might be, like, two or three more videos after this. And we might be done. And I'm playing a new game, bro. Because I, so, I have so many games that I have that I need to play. Oh, we're back at the entrance. Perfect. I have so many games that I have that I need to play that I just haven't been playing because I've been freaking so addicted to Oblivion. And it's like, you know, I feel like we've, you know, I feel like we did a good amount of Oblivion. I feel like, you know, it's a good, we're good to leave now, you know. We're good to leave now. Okay, guys, so that was the quest. Wow, Miss Karkin, though. Let's actually explore Miss Karkin just a little bit because it looks really nice. Uh, wait, did I take the thumbnail? I did take the thumbnail, right? Yeah, I did. We're good. Oh, man. I hate being sick, dude. I haven't been sick in, like, so long either. I, and then I freaking... Uh, this this freaking broke the streak, dude. I was so upset. I was like, dude. I was, like, not sick for so long. And, dude, I used to get so freaking sick as a kid, dude. It was actually unbearable. Like, I don't think you understand what I what I mean by that. Like, there was points in my life when I was a kid, I would be so sick. I thought I was going to die, dude. Like, multiple times. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. And my family and my mom can vouch for me, alright? She can vouch for me and say that, yeah, you were a really sick child. Um, and not in, like, the way that you're being, like, cool. You know, in the, in the sense that, you know, I was dying. But, you know, I haven't gotten sick <clears throat> in a... <clears throat> excuse me. In a while, you know. Um, but then this broke the freaking streak. I got freaking pissed. Dude, who is near me, dude? 
Freaking, this is pissing me off. Like, the, this, like, who's near me, dude? Like, someone explain to me. Where's the enemy guy? Like, come on, man. Like, I'm trying to freaking get this freaking video going. I got some freaking dude freaking just staring at me. Probably just, like, staring at a wall or running into a wall saying I'm in combat. Like, this freaking a-hole right here. Oh, my God. Damn. Yo, we just got freaking ganked on, dude. Literally. Oh, okay, never mind. Now uh, he's helping us out. Bro, that's what I'm saying, though. We got freaking ganked, though. Like, what the hell? We got freaking Kuma over here. Get the freaking... Freaking dude out here freaking ganking mid lane type shit. Like, man, get the frick out of here, man. I'm gonna freaking finish my quest, dude. Just let me freaking finish it. Let me freaking fast travel. Freaking finally, man. People out here freaking trying to gank mid lane. Like, dude, chill. It's not a freaking. We're playing freaking Oblivion. Alright, here we go, guys. Moment of truth. I don't know what to do the right settings. Like, it's like the voices be so low. The voice volume be so low, but then if I make it higher, then it's freaking super high. It's too loud. It's like. Freaking A. Good evening, With sir. all due respect, sire, there must be another way. The risk is too great. I know the risk. I was at Kavach. What do you need, friend? But Shut there up, is no other Morris. way. We have no choice. The Countess will never agree to it. She will. She must. She must. Very well. Very well. The blades are, as always, at your disposal. What's going on, guys? Ah, here you are. I have good news of a sort. Good news? Yes. We'll spit it out then, Martin. And you've got the great stone. Yes, I do. I said I'd get it. You did. I can count on you. I never thought to see a great Welkin stone. As beautiful as all the old tales tell. But of course, its beauty is a mask for its deadly power. Like everything crafted by the Aeliads. Now, we need only one more item, and we'll be ready to open a portal to Manka Cameron Drown. What is the last item we need? I should have seen it sooner. It's the counterpart to the Great Welkin Stone, just as the first two were the opposed powers of the Daedra and the Divines. Welkin Stones contain the concentrated power of Mundus. Their counterparts are mm. Sigil Stones. Which are used to hold open Oblivion Gates. Yeah. A great sigil stone, then. Oh, we have some. Require. Sigil stone? What's the catch? You're not going to like it. <clears throat> Joffrey doesn't like it. The Countess of Bruma certainly isn't going to like it. All right, well, great what is it? Great sigil stones are the anchors of great gates. The kind of gate the mythic dawn opened at Kavach. Yes. The kind of gate the mythic dawn wants to open here to destroy Bruma. So we let them open the gate? I said you weren't going to like it. Uh -oh. The risk is great, I know. I was at Kavach. I saw the terrible power of the Daedric siege engine. But we have no choice. The only way to recover the Amulet of Kings is to allow the Mythic Dawn to proceed with their plan to attack Bruma. You're crazy, Martin! I'll never go through with your plan. Bruh. I need some reasoning behind this. An explanation! At least you'll be safe here. No. I'll lead the defense of Bruma myself. Hey, Lamo. If I am to be emperor, it's time I started acting okay. like one. See, this, this is the real chosen one, guys. This guy is the chosen one, not me. We're the second one, alright? So if all else fails, we're gonna, you know... We're gonna, you know, we're gonna carry the torch, alright? It's too risky! I'll lead the battle! Remember when we first met in Kavach? I do. I told you that I didn't want any part of the God's plan. I still don't know if there is a divine plan, but I've come to realize that it doesn't matter. It does! What matters is that we act. I don't know, I don't know. Right doing, guys. When confronted with evil. That's what okay. you did at Kavach. It wasn't the gods that saved us, it was you. Okay, that's you fact. acting for the gods? I don't know. But now. It's my turn to act. Dang, yo, dude put on the freaking the shades on. 
He put the shades on and he got the freaking cigar in the mouth. As you command. Please, my friend. I need your judgment, not your obedience. I explain okay. myself to you so you understand me. And so you can explain to the Countess. I'm afraid she may take a bit more. This was just all me. your freaking plan to get me to go tell freaking tell the Countess. Freaking because you're too freaking scared. Freaking Martin, you schemer. I can see right through you. I'll inform the Countess at once. Good. Have her meet me in the Chapel of Talos for a council of war. That seems a fitting place to make such desperate plans. Counts Chapel of Talos? Alright. So it's happening, guys! <clears throat> it's happening! What is it? Battle plans! Martin has made his decision. The blades stand Excuse beside me, guys, him. Sorry. Alright, that was it. Boo, Joffrey. Boris! You need, friend. How goes it? May Uriel's spirit guide us in these troubled times. Man, you freaking let Uriel die, freaking Boris. You're a terrible bodyguard. Let the Countess know I'll be waiting for her in the Chapel of Talos. Alright. Battle plans? We must allow the Mythic Dawn to proceed with their plan okay. to open three lesser gates outside Bruma. According to the plans you captured from those spies, they need three lesser gates open before they can open a great gate. The great gate will allow them to bring out the siege machine to blast the walls of Bruma, just like at Kavach. Okay. But it's our only hope to get the great sigil stone we need to complete the ritual. You'll have to act swiftly when the great gate opens. Okay. Dang, so we have, this is, you know, the stakes are high, guys. Holy, so we gotta move quick. Daedric magic? I grew impatient with Mage's Guild restrictions, as did many of my fellow apprentices. We threw ourselves into the riddles of Daedric magic. We hungered for forbidden secrets. Knowledge and power were our gods. You can guess the rest. We got in over our heads. People died. Damn, my people died. died? Jeez. I Was that serious? Behind me. But the bitter wisdom that one has been a fool is not without value. Alright, dude out here turned to freaking Gandhi for a second. Alright, guy. Farewell, my friend. Alright, Martin, you guys stay safe out here, alright, boys? Alright, make sure, you know, you keep the chosen one safe. I trust both you guys, alright? Freaking don't screw this up this time, Joffrey. Freaking Joffrey. Freaking dude, like, lost all- Dude, like, gave the man car camera and, like, the freaking item he needed to freaking, like, do his ish or see- I don't know. He effed up somehow, though. Joffrey is- Joffrey freaking stinks. Alright, guys, so we're out- we're at the castle. Let's go ahead and talk to the, uh, the countess. It looks like she's sleeping. Um, no, she is not. She's ready. We're ready for war, baby. It's wonderful. Greetings. What news from Cloud Ruler Temple? Um, you're not gonna like the sound of this, ma'am, but... A desperate plan indeed. This... Prince? Emperor? Martin would risk my whole city to gain a great sigil stone? We must recover the amulet! This is the only way to stop this invasion from oblivion? I must confess... It seems so, You're the first person to speak of victory against these Daedra. This war seemed hopeless to me. But what else was there to do but hold on and wait for a hero to arise to save us? And now it seems there is an heir to the throne after all, hidden at Cloud Ruler Temple. And perhaps a hero as well? Oh, is she, did, is she talking about me? Martin waits at the chapel. You avoid answering my question. Oh. Very well. Don't think I doubt you. The rulers of Bruma have long had dealings with Cloud Ruler Temple. We know whom they serve. Tiber Septum! When all is ready, I will order my men to stop closing the gates and prepare. Oh, for yo, we better go. We better go. We better go to war, guys. We're about to go to war, guys. Holy shit. Holy Sheba. Yo, we better go to war, gang. We're about to go to war. Da, 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 da. All right, so we're just following these guys out. 
Uh, we gotta go meet, um... We probably have to go meet them at the chapel, right? We can just go ahead and, you know, have a nice little, um, night sh nightly stroll with the Countess of, uh, Bruma. You know, we'll, we'll act as her own personal bodyguard. And, um, we'll go ahead and meet up with, uh, Martin. And we're just gonna, um... We're just gonna get the confirmation from, uh, Countess Narina Carvain. Just basically letting us know that it's cool to, you know, let the gates, let the gates open. Oh, there they are. There's the bodyguard. Bird. I'm only the captain of the guard. The Countess makes the final decision, and I follow her orders. Whatever I think of them. Okay. Your plan is madness. There must be another way for you to recover the amulet without risking Bruma's destruction. Dang, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. It might, there might be, there might not be. I don't they know. Say, wait, 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 what did he say? I'm only the... They say someone finally laid poor Lord Vlindrel's shade to rest. Oh, <laughs> That's yeah. That's good. He's been haunting these hills for too long. That was for the um, pilgrimage questline that we just completed. Beric Vlindrel, right? I think that's what his name was. All right, come on, man. Hurry it up, man. You're freaking... You're goofing up, man. That freaking little 360 thing you did there. Someone could have freaking kidnapped the Countess in that time. Freaking keep your eyes on the freaking prize guy. Freaking slowpoke. All right, so here we are. We're entering the chapel. Martin should be here. And we're just going to have a nice little conversation. We're going to have a nice little conversation. There she is. Alright, we're good. Oh, and there's the blades! Here we go. Your Highness, I am Narina Carvain, Countess of Bruma, at your service. There is no need for any formality. Hold on, sorry. At this time, I am not Emperor yet, and I am quite new to this notion of being heir to the throne. Thank you for coming. Getting the thumbnail, my bad, guys. I no, I am asking for a great deal of trust. But this is the only way. I would not suggest it otherwise. <coughs> Your champion Excuse has me. already explained the situation to me. I have agreed to it. We will not win this war through caution. You have a rare gift to know when desperation is the path of wisdom. I will do everything in my power to defend your city, my lady. If Bruma falls, the Empire falls with us. So be it. Okay. So there we have it. When you're ready for battle, the Countess will order her men to stop closing the gates outside the city. Okay. So we gotta talk to Nervina Carvain. Just let her know to hold off the um, attack. And we're gonna just, you know, start doing our thing. So Nervina. I'm ready for battle when you are, Chum. What up, homebrae? What say you? Dang, she's about to get down too? <clears throat> um, let the battle begin. So be it. F it. Bruma's fate is in the hands of the gods now. And yours. Let's go, baby. Oh, okay, here we go. So, uh, we're just gonna go Bad. ahead. Oh. Deploy the troops for battle. Ooh. As you command, Countess. Okay. So it looks like we're all, uh, the troops are heading out. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and follow suit, alright? Um, <clears throat> I would expect them to be maybe moving a little faster. It looks like this situation is pretty urgent. Oh, okay, here we go. For the Emperor! Oh, this is cool. <coughs> hey, guys. This is the hero of, uh, I, uh, you know, I'm the hero of Kavash, if anyone, you know, cares. And what, what about the hero of Kavach? Anyone want to, anyone want to chant out the hero of Kavach? Or the, the hero of, I'm the hero of Kavach though. I'm the hero of... Man, these guys stink, man. They didn't even notice me. I'm a freaking celebrity too, alright? I'm the freaking second chosen one. Man, they gotta show some respect in these streets here. Everyone just yelling out Martin, Martin, Martin. Freaking... Man, I did stuff too. Freaking no one freaking wanted my autograph. Freaking Martin's freaking... This guy taking up all the glory. All right, what am I doing? Where are we going? Oh, and we move. We shmoo. Oh, they shmoving now. They shmoving now. 
Alright, we're just gonna follow him. <laughs> I'm gonna try to t get as many, uh, you know, um, I'm trying to save everyone, guys. Oh, here we go. Excuse me. Alright, so the battle begins, my friends. Let's go. For the full type of septum. Oh, wait. I arrived at the battlefield to find one open oblivion gate. Once all three are open, the mythic dawn will open a great gate, which I must enter and retrieve its great sigil stone. Martin and I have arrived on the battlefield. I must protect Martin until the great gate opens. Okay. Do I have to go inside here? Oh. The Empire will stand or fall by what we do here today. Yo, this is lit, guys. Will we let the Daedra do to Bruma what they did to Kavach? Will we let them burn our homes? We will let them kill our families. No! Our stand here. We the won't let them do that. Of Cyrodiil. We must hold fast until the hero of Kavach can destroy their great gate. Oh, that's me. That's me. Whatever comes out of that. I'm gate. the hero of Kavach. Soldiers of Cyrodiil. Oh, we picking up the stick now? Oh, hell yeah. For the Tiber Septum! For the Empire! Alright, I'm sorry. I'm getting into it, guys. I'm getting into it. The hell, man? Is this like a freaking, like, freaking fight club? Man, y'all gotta help me too, mother effers. The hell? The hell, man? Freaking move! There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We got a freaking gang mid lane. You guys are freaking out here staring at the freaking wall. Freaking the hell? Hell nah. The second Oblivion Gate is open. Okay, here we go. So we're just fighting waves. We're fighting waves, guys. Alright, here we go. Man, freaking move your lazy asses. There we go. There we go. We just kind of got to bring the enemies here. So honestly, we could just let these guys get... Oh, no, we should probably help. Looks like we have a yeah. some enemies here. So it looks like, you know, um, it's just like a wave system. Got to just clear out the waves of Daedra. Um, this is pretty chill. The uh, MP... Um, our army is a little bit buggy, but, you know, it still works pretty decently. It still works decent, you know? We gotta be careful not to um, attack any of our. No! Who is this? Joffrey! No! Yo, how did Joffrey die? Yo! Nah, 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 nah. Joffrey dying? What? So he's not a flagged as an important NPC? That is crazy. So Joffrey can die. No, I don't want Joffrey to die. I like Joffrey. What the hell? Alright, let's do this again. We'll save. Um, he, uh, We'll be very, you know, we're going to be saving like every time we want to fight. You know? Um, Dang, yo, I don't want Joffrey to die. Alright, so, hold on. We're just going to, I guess we'll just see this again. Let me save actually later because he's going to give the speech. I mean, get out of my, get out of my way, bird. The Empire... Will stand or fall by one. Will we let them burn our homes? We will For the Empire! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting really into it. This is like the end. This is like the end of the ish. You know what I'm saying? It's the end of the road. Where's Joffrey? Joffrey's not even here. We must kill whatever comes out of that. Oh, he's up here. Oh, God. Okay. Do you uh, stand with me? I'm standing with you, baby. We stand with you, Martin. For the flippin' empire, baby. For the flippin' empire. I got y'all. Alright, so they should be good. They should be good to gank that guy. Okay, there we go. Alright, Joffrey should be okay. Wait, what's happening? Stay sharp. <laughs> Nice, good stuff. Yo, why is my handsome Squidward attacking the yeah. my my teammates, bro? Oh Shiba, I forgot to save. Oh Shiba, Shiba, Shiba. Crap. Whatever. Oh, uh, we gotta we gotta hard focus these guys. 
Oh no, dude, get get out of my way! What? Yo, these guys are all getting in the way. Oh my god, I'm about to see Joffrey dead skis. No! No one's dying on me, I swear it. These guys keep getting in my way, bro. There we go. Oh my god, he keeps getting in my way, bro. Okay, we're good, we're good. So I'm stressing, guys. I don't want to lose anyone. Dang, these guys, they're coming out strong. Um, the waves are coming in heavy right now. So I think it's inevitable that someone's going to get their ass dropped. So just F it. I mean, we could try saving everyone. It's just going to take a lot of time. We just gotta try to peel for our team. We have to try to peel for our team. Pull aggro on these bozos. Dang, yo, I don't know. I can't even see anything right now. The hell? Oh, these. Okay, alright, you know what? I think I think just people are gonna die. People are just mother effer is just gonna die up in this mother effer. That's just how. That's just that's just how it is. <coughs> like there's so many enemies. I I think. I don't think we could do it. Not on this difficulty. We'd have to go to, you know... The easy difficulty. Uh, the Great Gate has opened and has entered it at once and get its Great Sigil Stone before the Bruma Defenders are overwhelmed. Okay, we gotta just go. Holy crap, this thing is huge. I got, we gotta just go. I don't know if... Um, oh my god, what the heck? I've entered the Great Gate. The Daedric Siege Engine is crawling towards the portal. If it exits the gate before I reach the Sigil Stone, all is lost. Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah. Right, let's go ahead and deal with this guy. So I don't know what's going on outside of there, but I didn't even check who died, who might have lived. I don't know. Um, but... F it. Yeah. Let's try to get these guys in the lava. Nope. No, we can get him in the lava. There we go. We got him in the lava. Let's get this guy in the lava. He should be dying in there. I don't know how he's still alive there. There we go. He's out of there. Uh, I'm hoping no one died. I'm hoping no one died from our team. Dude, I want everyone to be alive. You feel me? I want everyone to be alive. I don't want, I don't want people to die. So the siege engine is getting closer. As you guys can see, it's right there, that big old thing. Um, we gotta, we gotta pretty much um, get the great sigil stone or whatever, you know, before it, before it pulls up and um, basically destroys Bruma. So we gotta move, we gotta move fast. We gotta move real fast. So yeah, things are getting real crazy. Thirteen. Oh, it says right there, thirteen minutes to close the great gate. Okay. So honestly, we're just gonna do a stealth mission. We're just gonna do a stealth mission. Um, well, maybe not a stealth mission anymore, but look at that thing. What the heck is that? Oh my god, it's like moving. It's got like legs. That is weird. It's got like literal legs on it. Whoa, whoa, he sees me? Alright, you know what? F it. So, we gotta, um, mm, probably somehow make it to that centerpiece there that I'm seeing. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to go up. I don't know if I'm supposed to go down. Probably down, right? Down makes more sense. Oh, but there is a door here. I wonder where this goes. Yeah, we probably have to go over there, right? Dang, look at that thing. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Man, get off of this freaking bridge. Holy shit, no, 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 he got me off the bridge. Dude, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Holy shit, I didn't die. Yo, what the hell is this freaking... I mean, get your ass off the bridge, bruh. Holy shit, that scared me. Um, Wait, what am I supposed to do? Hold on. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Shit. 
Oh shit! Um, we probably have to go down, right? There should be a door down here, right? There is no door down here. It's this one? It's this one. Okay. So we go here. There's this big freaking jump here. That's crazy. Yeah. Alright, well, we're gonna have to fight this guy. I'm gonna try to sneak past the rest of them. We only have 11 minutes. This guy's dead. We're good. Um, we only have 11 minutes. We have to go to that big giant one right there in the center. That's, you know, what I can assume. And we gotta freaking close this baby, this baby up, alright? So, let's go ahead and do that, guys. Dang, that's a, that's a freaking, that's a big tower right there. Jesus, man. What's up with everyone and freaking trying to shoot these freaking fireballs at me, man? Just freaking chill. Oh, shit, he saw me. How did he see me? So, I think we have to go up here and close the gate up there. Dude, how did, how did Homebra, Homebra see me? How did Homie see me? That's so why I got that freaking uh, freaking X-ray vision or something ish. All right. Um. How do we open that gate? Ah, here we go. You have opened the gate. Okay. Well, that was easy. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna ignore these guys. I'm just gonna ignore these guys. Um, you know, and just we're just gonna get this. We're just gonna snag up the sigil stone. We're just gonna GTFO. We're just gonna GTFO out this out this biz, and um, yeah, because we only got ten minutes, so f that ish. We're we're gonna just freaking we're we're in and out. I'm in and I'm out. All right, I'm in and I'm out, baby. Like the freaking sixteen year old freaking high school girls getting the Stanley Cups at Target. All right, I'm in and I'm out. I'm in and I'm out. What the hell? Yo, bro sees me? Alright, we, we just running. Vault of the End Times. Wow, we haven't done an Oblivion game so long, guys. This is crazy. This is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, we got three doors here. Oh, oh okay, no, 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 that's not it. Oh, okay, this isn't it either. Oh, okay, well, maybe maybe it is it. Uh, where am I going? We gotta figure out where, which way we're supposed to go. Um, probably... Holy Shiva! Oh, shit! Yo, they all here. Oh, this way. We gotta go this way. We gotta go this way. Alright, you know what? There's no point in crouching anymore. We're just gonna run. I'm just running. Because my homies are out there freaking... They fighting for their lives right now. So we gotta freaking, we gotta run. I can't just be spending my time all up in here. We gotta just dip. We gotta just dip out of here. Get the freaking sigil stone, dip out. And plus we got that freaking giant freaking siege tank, the freaking destroyer of worlds up in this mother effer. What? This thing is locked? Okay. Okay. All right, we're here. We're here. We just gotta snag up the stone and we're good. We gotta snag up the stone and we're good. I see it. Oh jeez, but the enemies see me. Hey, you like that dodge, guys? We juked his ass. He swung un he swung low. We jumped high. Hell yeah. Eight more minutes. We got it. Give me that guy. Oh, Shiba. We effed up. Oh no, we gotta give the sigil stone away anyways. Uh oh. I'm running. I'm running. Alright, these guys are about to explode. Ah! Get me out of here! Woo! Okay, we made it. We made it. BC Mo, we made it. We did it. Dang! Yo, what the hell? I reached the Great Sigil Stone and closed the gate. The Battle of Bruma has won. Now to give the Sigil Stone to Martin? Yo! Damn! Joffrey! Taking his money. Alright, well, Joffrey didn't survive. I mean, like... Boris didn't survive either. Jesus. Bro. Martin. We won a great victory here today. We won? We what do you mean? Means to recover the amulet Joffrey and freaking Boris are dead. But we need to act quickly. Cameron will not take long to recognize his danger. Remember. 
portal closes behind you. Anything you need, carry it with you. I'll have the ritual ready in the Great Hall when you arrive. Farewell. Bro! Mysterium I Xarxes? I everything necessary for the ritual to use the Xarxes to open a portal to Cameron's okay, Paradise. Okay, and then we're gonna go to Cameron's Paradise? Remember, the portal will close behind you, so you will need to take everything you need. Oblivion Gate. The only way to close all the Oblivion Gates I'm about gates to end this video soon, guys. ...is for me to relight the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. Only way for him to close all of the Oblivion Gates is to relight the dragon fire? Manka Cameron. And we need the Amulet of Kings. Oh yeah, because freaking Joffrey lost the Amulet of Kings, this freaking a-hole. No! What the hell is he clapping for? You see our dead homies? Man, this is my guy! Bro, Joffrey and Barris were the only ones to freaking die. I mean, and then there's this uh, anvil soldier and whatever. What is this? Sigil stone? Oh. I mean, an an it was only an anvil soldier. It was an anvil soldier and uh, just anvil soldiers. Like, what? How does our guys die? And then Martin didn't even notice. Jeez, and then the freaking walk of shame back to freaking Bruma. Jesus Christ, and look at that freaking giant freaking anal plug up in here. Jesus Christ, man. Alright, guys. Um, I don't think I'm gonna end the video just yet, but I don't know. This could be like a thumbnail. What is this, dude? It had like legs and it was moving and stuff. It was weird. Alright, well, you know, I, I don't feel like going back and doing that again, because, I mean, I could and do it on easy mode, but, I don't know. Just, we'll just let Joffrey, we'll just let Joffrey go. We'll let him go, we'll let Boris go, unfortunately. Um, it's taking them a little bit of while to walk back, but uh, we just have to meet Martin at the Cloud Ruler Temple. And he's gonna have everything we need to go to Mancar's Paradise. Congratulations so, um, on your victory, sir. It wasn't a victory. We lost Joffrey and Boris, man. What do you mean? I'd have to say. Dude, these guys are oblivious. Fair. No pun intended. These guys are oblivious. I have everything in place for the rich. I don't know what you'll find in Cameron's <coughs> Paradise. I do know the portal I created. Man, F it. Let's just end this video today. Let's end this series you. today. You'll have to find another way back. I believe that Manka Cameron acts as the anchor for Paradise. Just as a sigil stone anchors an oblivion gate in place. Kill Manka Cameron, and you will unmake his Paradise. Okay. That's the Should vibe. I open the portal to paradise. Yeah, we going to paradise, baby. Ready. I'm ready for anything. Farewell, I'm my ready friend. for anything. Our fate is in your hands. Bring back the amulet of kings. I got you. I got you, Martin. Brace yourself. Sir, yes, sir. For the blades. For the blades. Man, I feel so bad, man. Freaking Freaking Joffrey and Boris, they're not here anymore. Alright, here we go. We're about to go into paradise, guys. Oh, Jesus. Holy moly. Dude, this is so many thumbnails here. Let's do it. Let's just take pictures after picture. These are great pics. Alright. We have only one chance at this. Oh, okay, all right, we gotta go. So we're going to paradise. We gotta kill Mancar Cameron, steal the um, Amulet of Kings back, so we should be good. I've arrived in, Ma in Cameron's paradise. The portal closed behind me. I must find Mancar Cameron, kill him, and recover the Amulet of Kings. All right, we're doing this. So we're in enemy territory right now. It's looking very uh, tranquil and beautiful here, honestly. This really does look like a paradise. So, oh. the cat's paw of the Septims arrives at last. That's me. You didn't think you could take me unawares, here of all places, in the paradise that I created. Look now upon my paradise. Gaia Alata in the old tongue, a vision of the past and the future. What? 
Who is this guy? Ascended Immortal? Ascended Immortal is fleeing? So we have to go to like Gaia or some shit? What did he say? Alright guys, but yo, like I said earlier, dude, we're just gonna finish the game today. I'm just gonna- we're just gonna beat Oblivion today, I, I think. Cause I think it's- I think we just have like one more quest after this and then the game ends, I think. What is this Ascended Immortal guy? Where'd he go? Oh, he's right here. Who is this guy? He's fleeing. Does he think I'm like an enemy? Do I have a bounty? We have no bounty. I don't know. Whatever. So, whatever. Man car camera knows we're here. Um, I don't know. We're just gonna kill his ass, though. Regardless. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Not sure where I'm supposed to go. But our only objective is to just find him and kill him. Don't know where he is, though. We got ourselves a Frost Atronach. Yeah. Hello, buddy. Yeah. Hello. Oh, whoops. I'm pressing Behold the wrong button. Behold the Savage Garden, yeah. where my disciples are tempered yeah. for a higher destiny. To yeah. rule over Tamriel Reborn. Yeah. What is this guy talking about? If you about? are truly the hero of destiny, as I hope, the garden will not hold you for long. The garden? Is this the garden? Who Lift is this? your eyes to Kerek Agayala, my seat at the pinnacle of paradise. I shall await you there. Who are these guys? This guy looks like he's high on shrooms or something. Oh, so you found your way to Gaia Ralata at last. Don't we have enough troubles here without you adding to I them? don't know. I don't know your life. Leave us alone. Your quarrel is with Mankar Cameron. Not us poor fools. Gaia Alata? Gaia Alata is the master's name for this place. We usually just call it paradise. This is the Savage Garden. At the top of that mountain lies the Terrace of Dawn, which leads up to Mankar Alright, he's Hammer snitching. Palace, he's snitching. Gylor. Beneath the mountain lies the Forbidden Grotto, the only way out the only of the Savage out. Garden. Okay, he just told us where the only everything way was. out of the Savage Garden. Only those wearing the bands of the Chosen may enter uh, the Okay, he's just Grotto, letting us know everything. But they never return, so we don't <clears throat> know what fate awaits them. Huh? <clears throat> bands of the only Chosen? Only those wearing the bands can enter the Forbidden Grotto. No one who enters the Grotto So we have to get this thing returned. called the Bands of the Chosen? Everyone here died in the master's service. Oh. As the master promised, we are now immortal, like the Daedra. But our life here is a nightmare. The creatures of the garden torment us endlessly. When they kill us, we are soon reborn. Dang, yo, that's like the again. freaking gold experience requiem, dude. No one has yet Literally. found a way to leave the garden. Except those few given the bands of the chosen and allowed to enter the forbidden okay. grotto. Yeah, he got hit with the freaking gold Wait, experience me. requiem. Are you here to end this night? Yeah, his ass got hit with the gold experience requiem. So basically, freaking his ass is just like freaking in a constant loop of just dying because the animals just keep freaking killing him every single time. Dying and being reborn, dying and being reborn, you know? It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, man car uh, camera is paradise, man. It's looking pretty uh, fire. Like I was expecting like some like kind of messed up looking vibe, but it's actually a chill vibe. So we got a lot of um astronaut or a lot of daedras here. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and deal with these guys. Yeah. Well, this one's a little strong guy. There we go. Yeah. Um, so we need the bands of the chosen yeah. to get out of here and to even enter into into the forbidden grotto or I man I don't know that dude was just saying a whole bunch of freaking baloney in my ear. I was like, bro, just freaking hurry up, man. Just freaking speak normal English words to me or something. Like, dude, out here freaking speaking in freaking tongue, speaking in freaking Latin or something like that. What the hell? 
What are these? Whoa. Mana Bloom? This is new. Oh my god, yo, chill out, bro. I'm trying to freaking, I'm trying to freaking do some gardening, guy. Chill on me, gang. I'm trying to just get my gardening vibe going on. Dude out here freaking trying to ruin the vibes. Yeah, we gotta freaking get these. I don't think I've ever seen these before. Mm-hmm. Alright, looks like we were supposed to go down. Do, 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 do. We got some deer skis. It's just looking like a regular Cyrodiil, like regular afternoon in Cyrodiil. Um, it's like a mixture between the Shivering Isles and Cyrodiil, from what I'm getting. Uh, who is this? You destroyed the Sigil Tower at Ganona, my kin. Say you fought Who is well. this guy? Is this my fan? Ganona? I've never heard of it. Our clan sacked your city of Kavach. Oh, oh yeah, we had to get his ass. Fit for Respectfully, we had to get our get your back. swift retribution earned you much respect among my people. We had not expected really now? that so the danger of uh, the danger of messed resolution. with your boy? And honor. It is no dishonor for us to speak. I have nothing to say to you. I seek Mancar Cameron. You speak directly, like one of my people almost. I'm glad I did not kill you immediately. Yeah, right. You can't even, dude. You can't even freaking kill me. What do you want then? There is but one way out of the garden. I guard that path. You will travel that path, and it will bring me honor to defeat you. All right. You. So he he wants to have the fight. But you shamed my kin at Kanona. To bring you into my service, that would also be Oh, okay, never mind. Honor. We might not have to fight him. I don't want to so fight you. I offer you a choice. Would you confront me in battle? Yeah, let's just be friends, or dude. offer me service. This is the first time we've ever talked to an actual Dremora. Uh, I have some questions. You are impertinent, mortal. Ooh, I did no not chill. offer to answer questions. Bro, chill with that shit. Uh, I choose service. An intriguing choice. And I have a task in mind that will test your wit and your loyalty. The rabble of the Savage Garden have imprisoned the Zivili Anaxes. I consider his humiliation a fitting punishment. However, his shame attaches to me, and though the matter is too small for my attention, who it is, is not this guy? Too small for like one seriously, dude servants. just came over here acting like he's the freaking king of freaking Axes. king of freaking Russia or something, the is freaking queen of England. To the forbidden grotto, the bands of the chosen. All right, okay, we got it. Free the civilized. Manka Cameron's chattels. The unmortals. Yeah, that dude, acting like he's so important, the man. Get the garden. Their proper role is to test themselves in unceasing combat. Oh God. But being no true immortals, they are without honor or courage and shy from. Yeah, battle. yeah. I'm just hearing a whole bunch of nothing, Kathutet. Kathutet. Trick. They trapped one of my agents, the Zivili Anaxes, in a cave. Yeah. They show initiative, and Anaxes doubtless deserves humiliation. But I cannot permit this to continue. Do me this service of freeing Anaxes, and I will reward you with the bands of the Chosen and passage to the Forbidden Grotto. Okay. Man, he talks a lot, man. All right, guys, we're at an hour and twenty-four. Let's Mankar hear him talk. Cameron's chattels trapped the Zivili. Actually, no. Let's <clears throat> let's not hear him talk more. We know exactly what happens. He's got to save his friend, and then he's gonna give us the bands of the chosen. That's it. <clears throat> he's gonna give us the bands of the chosen. It looks like his friend is like trapped in a cave or something like that. Yeah, and these guys are like, they won't even hurt us, so we're good. Yeah, he's scared of this freaking Daedra. Yeah. 
Big stun there. So, um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, I actually don't think we can beat the game. Maybe. Actually, no, we can, because we're at an hour 24. I mean, I don't think this part will take too long. Um, but we'll see what happens. Excuse me, guys. Oh my god, I'm so burpy. Super belchy, mate. <clears throat> Alright, so dude is in like a cave or some ish. Like, this is looking like it, right? Layer of an axes. They named the they named it after him? Like the hell? I hear the war is going badly. These guys aren't gonna attack me, right? Here that were caught in the fall yeah, these guys aren't gonna attack me. We're good. Let me just hit the crouch though, just in case someone is hostile. We don't wanna just like pull aggro, you know. Stop! Don't let an axes out! Huh? What do you want? Anaxes. He's trapped at the back of the cave. It took us weeks to prepare the trap, and he killed us many times before we finally succeeded. Oh yeah? The lesser creatures of the Eternal Garden still torment us, but Anaxes was the worst. Dang, oh, this he guy's like a curse us, on this place. Prolonging our death <clears throat> for his pleasure. You must not release him. For pity's sake! Dang, yo, we chose the wrong option. We we're supposed to kill the guy. Alright, well, we no, chose the wrong option. I'm just gonna open it up. Damn! I freed the Zivlite and Axis from the cave where he was trapped. I should return to Kathuta and see if he will give me the bands of the Chosen as he promised. Damn! Yo, and Axis, he's, he's pissed. He's flipping pissed. I want to see him fight those other Ascended Immortals. I'm not trying to fight this dude. F that. We saved them. Oh dang! Okay, he's about to get busy with these guys. Let's just let's check him out. Let's check out the fight. All right, he's just like my freaking. He's just like my dude. He freaking stinks. All right, whatever. Let's go back to um. Let's go back to Karthut. Uh, I don't know if that was the right choice. Maybe the right choice was to just kill Karthut because it looks like uh, Anaxes is you know. Um, it looks like the Ascended Immortals, you know, took the time to defeat Anaxes, but, um, you know, we just released him for the free skis, you know, so, he was like, I kind of feel bad for him. Oh. I kind of feel bad freeing him, because now they have to, you know, die by his hands again. And that guy got freaking owned earlier, they actually got the freaking rock thrown on him. That was pretty uh, frightening. He freaking exploded in midair, in midair too. So that was kind of crazy. All right, Kartha, man, you made me do this ish. What what's going on? <clears throat> Why is the deer coming in here? The flooded grotto. We don't even have the bands of the chosen. We don't even have the bands. Send it immortal. Bunch of immortals. Where is Karthut? What the heck? Did he scam us? Yo, he scammed us, dude. Karthut freaking scammed us, bro. I should have just killed him right then and there. Yeah. Man, that's the last time I trust a freaking Daedra, dude. Seriously, that's the last time I trust a Daedra. Like, what was I thinking, guys? Seriously. That he was gonna freaking just give us the bands and freaking be our best friend? Heck no. Dude freaking dipped out of here after we unleashed his freaking butt buddy. Begone, mortal. Anaxes is free. Order is restored to the Savage Garden. Yeah, I, I screwed you up. You have served me well in return for your service. Oh, I will give you never the mind. Key to the forbidden grotto. Yeah, give me give me the dang key, dude. It. I did all this ish for uh I'll take this key from your corpse. No, no, just give me the take key. These bands of the chosen then. Wear them or you cannot enter the forbidden grotto. Okay. The only we'll spare Katate of right. the eternal garden. Honor and pride bids me tell you. None can escape the forbidden grotto. There, you Orthy? will be the charge of my kinsmen, or they. 
Okay. Yeah. How little you understand. Yeah. You uh. cannot stop, Lord Dane. Uh. The principalities yeah. have sparkled as gems yeah. in the black reaches of oblivion yeah. since the first morning. Yeah. Many are their names and the names of their masters. The cold harbor of Meridia, Periite's quagmire, the ten moon shadows of Mithala and... And Dawn's Beauty, the princedom of Lorcon, misnamed Tamriel by deluded mortals. This guy's just yapping on because he knows he's about to get his ass whooped. He's like trying to convince me, oh, please, please don't whoop my ass. But man, we, I'm about to get his ass. We're about to freaking whoop this dude's ass. So we gotta go ahead and throw on the bands of the chosen. <clears throat> um. And we can go ahead and get out of this place. The bands glow red briefly as they lock around your wrist. Like some freaking God of War type-ish. What the heck? Alright, here we go. I have entered the Forbidden Grotto. Now to find my way through the t through to the Terrace of the Dawn. Where I hope I can find Mankar Cameron and the Amulet of Kings. Let's go. So let's go ahead and snag up the Amulet of Kings, baby. Yes, you understand now. Yeah, that your ass is grass. Tamriel is just one more Daedric realm of oblivion, long since lost to its prince when he was betrayed by those that served him. <laughs> Lord Dagon <laughs> cannot invade Tamriel, his birthright. He comes to liberate the occupied lands. Oh, this guy's an enemy. Take that! Ha! You'll never take me down! I'm gonna take you down, buddy. I'm gonna take you down. All right, there you go. You're out of here. Mythic Dawn stuff. Okay. Dang, dude got the freaking lava treatment. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Who's this guy? You wear the bands, but you're no prisoner. Who are you? What are you doing here? Um, uh, my business is my own. Stand aside. Wait, I know who you must be. You're the one who killed Raven and Ruma. Who is that? They told me about you when I was still in their father's favor. And now you're here to kill their father. Of course, you came for the Amulet of Kings. Then Martin Septim still lives? There is still hope to stop Mayrune's Dagon's invasion? Uh, are you sure you should be telling me all this, Eldamil? Why do you care? I bear responsibility for much of the evil that was done in Mankar Cameron's name. I would undo it. Yeah, yeah, could. of course you're gonna undo it now, I now that I got a freaking sword to your to throat, freaking Eldamil. Waiting helplessly here in eternity. But now you are here. Perhaps you can kill Mankar Cameron. Save Tamriel from Dagon's right, You're not getting any victory. of the credit here, Eldamil, don't I worry. I can help you. Come you on. need my help if you are ever to leave the Forbidden Grotto. Why? Who? Why would you help me? I was at the sack of Kvach. They had no chance. We took them by surprise, and we carried the walls in the first assault. All right. But they fought on <clears throat> anyway, desperately. They seemed to think the decadent, the dude. mundane world of theirs was worth defending. I was slain after the battle was over. Oh. Three townsfolk hiding in the cellar attacked me when I entered their house, hunting down survivors. I mean, obviously. They tore me to pieces, although I have no doubt they were immediately killed by my companions. E. I've had plenty of time to ponder my deeds since I came here. Ponder and regret. An eternity of regret. For my <sighs> weakness, the master sent me here to torture my former comrades who showed similar ingratitude for his gift of eternal life. Uh, I don't want your I help. I understand. Why would you trust me? But you have no choice. What? I am the only one who can help you I escape No, you're this not, place. bro. I have the freaking map. No one wearing the bands of the Chosen can leave the grotto. You'll discover that for yourself soon enough. I'm ready to help you. Uh, I don't want I your help. No. So let's just go. 
Uh, okay, so we met this guy named Eldemil. He seems like he's, you know... He seems like he's, um... He seems like he's, you know, sorry. You know? He seems like he's regretful of this, of his decisions, but I don't know. I can't trust a guy who's living in a freaking cave, dude. Who's wearing a freaking red hood type ish. You know what I'm saying? I just can't. I just can't, you know. Well, actually, you know what? This guy is actually not that bad. All right. He's helping me kill the guys. All right, you know what? We'll give Elden Mill a chance. I'm ready to help. We'll give him a chance. We got ganked mid lane, and he he helped with the counter gank. How can you help me? No one wearing the bands of the chosen can leave this grotto. The doors will not open, and there Why is no is that? other way out. Why is that, good sir? I can remove them, but I will need time. Follow me. There's a spot in the next grotto where we won't be disturbed. Alright. So we'll just follow Elden Mill for now. We could sleep right now. Orthy's key. Why is we have two Orthy's key? Alright. Well, I mean, he seems nice, I guess. What's going on? Oh, we just got Daedra. Yeah! There we go. Who is he getting hit by? Oh, probably the baby spider. Alright, let's just... I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna aggro everyone. Okay, got him here. Someone's just getting tortured up in this mother effer. Jeez, yeah, they're getting his ass. Uh, okay, so we're just following Eldemil. I mean, he should be helping us. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, I didn't mean to hit Eldemil. I did not mean to hit Eldemil. Am I supposed to be? Let's kill this guy though. We'll go for the Daedroth next. Okay, nice. I didn't mean to hit you, bro. Like that. Seems like he is a changed man. Seems like he was being serious. Um, when he said that he wanted to help. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. You made it. I didn't think you'd have any trouble. Let's get these bands off you. Wait. There. You're not a prisoner of the Forbidden Grotto any longer. Let me come with you. Let me help you kill mankind. Didn't we need the bands though? Is that what v Vatut said or Vatut? Sure, I'd be glad of your I help. I am no match for Mankar Cameron, but perhaps together we can find a way to defeat him. Lead on. Really? Okay, so he was on our side the whole time. Wait, why did we need to put the bands of the chosen on if we? Well done, champion. Your progress is swift and sure. Perhaps you will reach me after all. You think I mock you? Not at all. In your coming, I hear the footsteps of fate. Yeah, I'm gonna whoop that ass, boy. You are the last defender of decadent Tamriel. I am the midwife of the mythic dawn, Tamriel reborn. I welcome you, if you truly are the Dude, I am. Dude, this man car camera just keep on giving me speeches. Keep on giving me speeches because he knows I'm about to come in there and freaking whoop that ass. I tire of the self styled heroes who set themselves in my path. Oh, whoops. Um, but yeah, this like that's what people do. That's what people always do. You know, like when they're losing, they just try to sound like they're, you know. Like winning or whatever, like oh yeah, yeah they're trying to like freaking scare you. Man, I'm not scared of this dude. This guy, this the freaking, that's that type of issue. Say when you better get that ass whooped. Yeah, he knows. 
Yeah, man car and Cameron, he's about to get freaking rocked. I'm just do, 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 do. Yo, if you guys are still watching the vids, appreciate you guys a bunch. Uh, if you could run that like button up, hit the subscribe, leave a comment down below, would be greatly appreciated. Um, did he die? Did Elder Mill die? He died, yeah. He's he's in the lava. You see him? He got cooked. Alright, well, Elder Mill, I actually, you know, I misjudged Elder Mill, guys. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. We misjudged him. I thought that he was, you know, playing me like a freaking fiddle, but it turns out he actually was telling the truth. And he really wanted us to just defeat Mancar Cameron and end the curse of Mancar Cameron. Uh, and and man card Cameron's paradise, excuse me. So um, unfortunately, he died though, so we don't have any inside guy now. I mean, I could reload a save, but I think we should be okay. I think we should be good without him. And if we do need him, then sheesh, we're gonna have to reload something. But I don't think we're gonna need him. I don't think we're gonna need him. Uh, let's keep going. We're in the Forbidden Grotto. Um, I don't really even know, like, where I'm supposed to be going. There's no arrow, quest marker arrow, so don't really know. I'm going to avoid this guy. I don't really feel like fighting right now. I mean, we've already fought those guys so many times, so, like, I don't know. It really doesn't matter. Just, just show me where Mancar is. Show me where Mancar is so we can freaking end this freaking this dude's freaking BS. Dude out here been freaking BSing the whole game, just straight up. It's just like, dude. Like, just freaking chill. You know? But no, he doesn't want to freaking chill. Dude wants to freaking destroy the world. Summon freaking Mayroon's Dagon to freaking do God knows what, you know? So. We gotta stop his ish. Alright, so we made it to paradise? What? So we made it out the Forbidden Grotto, I think. Well, I mean, yeah, we did. We're in paradise. But, um, are we supposed to even be here? Hold on, let me see. Top of the mountain. Okay, so he's at the top of the mountain. Alright, so we're about to whoop Mancar Cameron's ass, and then probably end the video after we whoop his ass. Who's this? Why does this guy have four arms? Is this guy freaking Sukuna? Yo, Jujutsu Kaisen reference? Alright, this is looking like, um, oh, here we go. Eldemil? Wait, what? I thought he died. Alright, Eldemil, let's go, baby. Let's end Mancar Cameron. Is this you, Mancar? Is this you? Ruma you Cameron. To see me again, did you? Who was this again? You have no grasp of the power that my father Wait, when did we kill this command. chick? You think you can stop us? Soon Mayroon's Dagon will walk upon Tamriel for the first time since the mythic age, and our victory will be complete. Um Come. My father is waiting to welcome you to Karak Agayalon. Oh, okay. Wait, really? Just like that? Raven Cameron. So, here you are at last. The lackey of the Septim Pretender. You still think you have a chance, don't you? I mean... We knew you would find your way here eventually. But it is of no consequence. You should not keep my father waiting any longer. He expected you hours Wait, ago. what? I'm Come. here to kill him. You came what? here to see him, did you not? Why are these guys, like, letting me just go in? Why are they leading me to his... To their father? I'm gonna just, like, immediately just freaking go for the jugular, you know? Immediately. Karak Agalaur. Okay, so... Wow, and he's just right here. He's just right here. Um... I have waited a long time for you. Hold on, let's get the thumbnail. Champion of old Tamriel. You were the last gasp of a dying age. Sorry. You breathe the stale air of false hope. Mm -hmm. How little you understand. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. 
The walls between our worlds are crumbling. The mythic dawn grows nearer with every rift in the firmament. Soon, Excuse very me. soon, the lines now blurred will be erased. Tamriel and Oblivion rejoined. The mythic age reborn. So that's what they're trying to do. Lord Dagon Bring back the Tamriel mythic age again. and the world have Lord remade. Dagon walk again. The new age shall rise from the ashes of the old. All right, yeah, we've heard this story plenty of times, and we know how it's gonna end, man. You are gonna get your freaking. Mortal and immortal alike. You are gonna, you're gonna get out of here. My long duel with the Septims is over, and I have the mastery. Okay. The Emperor is dead. The Amulet of Kings is mine. And the last defender of the last ragged Septim stands before me. In the heart. Damn, he got that ish on. Let us see who at last has proved the stronger. I found Mankar Cameron in his palace of Karak Agailor. Now I must kill him and take the Amulet of Kings back to Tamriel. You're a traitor to your own race. Be glad you, you will, will not live to see the day, Lord. Okay, here we go. We're fighting now. Where you fall down and bleed to death. Dang, these guys are moving. These guys are schmoving, bro. I do not the fear death. Yeah. Strike me down, and my father's power. Sam, Eldamil got owned. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, there we go. We got one of them. Raven Cameron. I'm gonna go ahead and yoink this stuff from him. We have mundane ring already. Dang, yo, she's getting freaking ganked on. My father's power. Yeah, I wish we could have saved Eldamil, but no, whatever. Alright. Alright, Mankar, you're next. Oh, dang, big stun there. Big stun there. Let's go ahead and get busy with Mankar. We're getting busy with his ass. Pause. Wait, when did this guy come back? When did this guy come back? Oh, they came back from the dead, eh? Oh, interesting. There we go. Alright, we're gonna hard focus on uh, Mancar. Oh, jeez, hold on. We're kinda low on health. Let's go. Let's just hard focus Mancar. I feel like after he dies, all the summons should go away. Oh, he's a little glitched in the wall. You guys see that? Yo, someone's owning me. Someone's owning me. I'm losing a lot of health. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's let's use our uh, gold brand. Let's uh, light his ass on fire. I can't really see anything. What is going on? Okay, here he is. All right, we should be able to just kill the kill Mancar, and we should be done with this. Okay, Mancar's a little strong though, guys. He's a little strong though. Not gonna lie. And I, I, there's so many colors and lights going on. What's, what the hell is going on with this ish? There's like so many lights and freaking cameras in my freaking face, dude. And now Mancar is just boxing me now. Now he's just boxing my ass. Oh my god, okay, okay. Oh, okay, now this is a boss fight, for real. This is a boss fight. Dude is tough. Okay. So, um, he should be going down pretty soon. Wow. Dang, we're not getting any big stuns off on him, either. Hold on. We gotta... I gotta do something. I don't know. Hold on. Let me use restore magic. Uh, there we go. You stop Lord My Let's just start <sighs> shooting fireballs. Nice. We're killing. We're killing them off now. Just really good. I welcome the contest. A worthy foe at last. Yeah. This guy is. This guy has been pretty good. This guy has been pretty yeah. strong. Mancar. Not gonna lie. This is a good fight. Yeah. Jeez, he's he's he can dodge though. Oh, we need to get a big stun off. There we go. That's the big stun we needed. 
I'm just going in on him. I'm just going in on him. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm about to die, I'm about to die. Holy sheba. We gotta be careful. Um, this guy's not dying. I don't know if he's taking damage or not, but he is not dying. Come on. Oh no, they keep re they keep respawning. Yeah, they keep respawning. I don't know. I don't know if we're supposed to fight this guy a certain way. I'm not sure. But yeah, he keeps on resummoning his. He keeps on resummoning his homies, his dead homies. Oh, he keeps on resummoning his dead homies on some real ish. Um, so I don't know if like I don't know how it's supposed to kill his ass. Let me use the other magical potion. So the last one. Ow. We have Ruma. There he is. The time your efforts are in vain, mortal. Not good enough, I'm afraid. Okay, we're just going in on him. We're just going in. Maybe we could drop him off the edge of the map here. And then maybe he could take some fall damage here. There we go. Oh, I'm missing that. Come on. Fate chose you well. Ah, come on. Come on, big stun, big stun. Let's get him while he's down. I gotta be careful. There's a lot of people on me right now. We're silenced. Oh, jeez. I don't know. Um. I don't know if we're doing this right or not. I don't know. Um. Big stun, big stun. Let's go. Fate, my vision will yet be real. Oh boy! Oh shoot! Amulet of Kings, I'm taking all this. Oh shoot! The place is falling. The place is getting. The place is freaking crumbling. Oh, we gotta get out. We gotta get out. What? It's sealed. Oh shoot! Wait, what? I killed Mancar Cameron. Upon his death, the paradise he had created dissolved around me, and I found myself back in Cloud Ruler Temple with the Amulet of Kings in my hand. I must give the amulet to Martin. Holy! Oh my God! Look at all the knights here: Rolian, Jenna, Cyrus. You oh, found here your we way go. Back. Does this mean Mancar Cameron is dead? You did it. You <clears throat> defeated him. Then you have it. You have the amulet. Of I Kings. do, my friend. Here, take the amulet. Uh, here, the amulet belongs, belongs to you. To me, the amulet of kings. So you and Joffrey have said. If it is true, if the emperor really was my father, then I should be able to wear it. Yeah, freaking wear it. Put that ish and on, mother effer. How do you even put that ish on and save and the world, gang? Put on the amulet, your majesty. Yes, Jeez. Of yeah, what are you waiting for? Hurry up and end this ish and light them freaking dragon fires destiny. up in this hole. And no man can deny his destiny. Alright, yeah, hurry up, you freaking Gandhi mother effer. Dude talking like freaking Gandhi. Freaking dude talking like talking like freaking Confucius. You see, you are your real son. Really you put the amulet, amulet on. To tell me that. I've known it was true since you first told me him back in Kavach. I got you, brother. This is one thing to talk of becoming emperor. And quite another. To actually be the emperor. Okay. You are the emperor. Not yet. Until we light the dragon fires, the gates are open, and Mayroon's Dagon's invasion continues. Yeah? While you were gone, I sent a messenger to Chancellor Ricardo. He waits for us in the Imperial City. Why meet Okado? Okado's the new um, the emperor of Cyrodiil, by the way. Council rules in the emperor's absence. 
I don't expect any objections from the other council, but we should defer to the Okay, authority. so we're just, oh, sorry. Let's go to the Imperial City at once, before the enemy can recover from Manka Cameron's death. So, yeah, there we go. Alright. We should go to the... Uh, okay, hold on, um, follow me. Le okay. So, here we go, guys. We were able to, um, head over to Mancar Cameron's Paradise. Um, defeat Mancar Cameron. And snag up the Amulet of Kings for Martin. So, Martin's got the Amulet of Kings on. He wants to go talk with Chancellor Okado. Um, just to basically just brief him on the situation, I guess. I think that's what he said. Do, 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 uh, present his claim to the Septum Throne. Oh, okay, he's gonna tell... Um, Okado actually that he's gonna kick his ass out actually I think Martin's gonna be like I'm the freaking ruler of this thing you know so um, I think that's what we're gonna do so uh, we're gonna do that in the next video though guys so it looks like this isn't the end of the Oblivion series guys but guys guys literally the next video I kid you not the next video is going to be the last Oblivion video so if you guys are hyped for that freaking hit the like hit the sub comment down below um comment down below how long how many videos have you watched from the oblivion series um if you enjoyed it guys the last video is going to be the the uh, the next video is going to be the last video guys sorry i kind of wasn't really into it um today like i said dude i like after this video i gotta go like i'm going to freaking i gotta just i gotta just door dash to like freaking however long you know so I'm sorry I kind of, you know, sped through that, but I kind of got what was going on with the whole paradise thing. We basically just freaking, um, we got everything that we needed for, uh, Martin to do the ritual to open the portal to get to paradise. We went into paradise, um, uh, what's his face? Mancar Cameron was freaking talking ish in, the, in our freaking ear with the freaking PA system. He was telling us basically, you know, you're not going to freaking do anything, whatever, whatever. But we ended up killing him in the end. Um, getting the Amulet of Kings back and then returning it to Martin. So, yeah, not, not really anything uh, like crazy um, t in terms of the story wise. Um, because I don't think, I don't think Mancar Cameron was really saying anything. Um, but that was weird at the end when... You know, his subordinates, uh, or like his brother or sister or whoever, the, his bodyguards were just like, Man, Car Cameron wants to see you and talk to you. And it's like, what? Where? Like, they should have been hostile off the bat. But, um, yeah, basically, you know, we, we, and then after that, um, you know, Man Car was sitting on his throne in paradise. He was basically telling us his plan. He's gonna let freaking Mayroon's Dagon rule the world again, have the mythic, um, age. You know, have a resurgence of the mythic age and have it happen again and have Mayroon's Dagon rule the world. And I mean, clearly we're not having that. So we got in a fight with him. That was actually an extremely um, tough boss fight. That was pretty hard. Mankar Cameron first was tanky. He had he constantly summoning three adds on you. Um, that was a solid fight though. So good job there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it guys next video guys like I said It's gonna be the last video, but that's coming on Tuesday So we're gonna you know chill for the weekend you guys can you know um, Watch some old videos if you guys want to before we finally end the video because tomorrow I mean not tomorrow Tuesday guys, it's gonna be the last Elder Scrolls video guys So I'm gonna try to make that one really fun and exciting So yeah guys stay tuned and I guess this is the outro because I gotta go and I also have to take a giant poo, honestly. So, um, yeah, guys, I think we're just going to end it here. That was the outro. I love and appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for supporting the series. Like, comment, subscribe. New game coming immediately. We'll, we'll wait a day. I'll wait a day. But um, a, a day after our last Oblivion video. So I have a game already ready for you guys. I have two games, or potentially three games, just already ready for you guys. Um, so, you know, get excited for that. Oblivion is coming to an end. Love and appreciate you guys. I'm out. Peace!